Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into a video on how to force your Windows computer to update. Now, um, just real quick, I want to mention something that's very important. If you force an update that's not being rolled out to your computer, well, what can end up happening is you can have driver failures, you can have other problems happen. So if you are dealing with a work computer or something of this nature, I would highly advise not to do this. However, you know, it's purely on your head. And um, with that being said, let's uh, jump on in. So first things first is you're going to need to go to this given site. Um, I'll link it down below in the description. And what you want to do is simply click the update now and you will download a program. Open up the program. And what you want to do is simply go here and, and do update now. And uh, and it will make sure that everything's compatible. And the reason why that you uh, might want to force an update or something like that is for me, I'm, I'm testing out new features and stuff so I can get it ready for some videos. Uh, there's going to be a massive update that's going to come out April 11, 2017, which is going to be a creditors update, which is going to roll out to given computers. So it's smart for someone like myself to actually experience this stuff. Or if you're like an IT person for a company, it's smart for you to go ahead and figure out, okay, will the company computers work with this? Or do I need to defer it or, or something else? And that way you don't have your sales team having problems with uh, getting their, their computers to work when they need to be selling items. But anyways, after this, you pretty much just need to let it go through. And um, and I'll be right back when it's done. Keep in mind, you know, these updates can take some time. So whenever it gets done, it does this countdown. It starts at 30 minutes, and it counts down from there. So it's very important to note that when you do start this process overall, have all your work saved and whatever, just in case if you, or, or if you have to leave the computer at any time, make sure everything's saved and whatever. So if it does in a reset itself before we come back, well, um, you know, it's whatever. You can do a uh, restart later, which I would advise, or you can just do a uh, restart now type of thing. But as far as that goes, that's how you force the update. And uh, again, the uh, you can do this with the creators update as of April 5th, 2017, when that came out. And it should be fully coming out on the 11th, and, um, and it will probably roll out over the next few weeks after the 11th but anyways as far as that goes oh uh, again i want to remind you that forcing updates especially something major like the creators update or anniversary updates that the uh, specifically updates that are rolled out like that that can cause problems that if, if, if your computer can't handle it it can cause problems but again, there's many reasons why you would still want to go through with it. But anyways, as far as that goes, uh, it's been Craig Bennett. And if you like this, then leave a like, subscribe, share, and whatnot. But uh, let me know what you think, and um, I'll see you in the next video. And let me know what we want future videos to be on.